video about it. Remember that guy? We covered a video about it. It's on my TikTok and everything else. He basically like went up to a woman's house and said like, "Oh, I'm moving in now." It's my Hello. house. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Thank God, still alive. Yeah. You're a you're a difficult man to get hold of. Yeah, it's, um, generally don't interview, but uh, given the circumstances, he looks, he looks like a big, a big teddy bear. Now, decided that uh, we need to do some damage control. He looks very huggable. Jacob Fauci okay, is an American Israeli. He became infamous after Mana confronted him, and the video Here's went that viral. that video that we covered last time. Jacob, you know this is not your house. Yes, but if I go, you don't go back. So what's the problem? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do this. Yeah, you are watching. stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. No, no, no one, no one uh, is allowed to steal it, Yammi. He's been living in an additional part of Mana's house for over 10 years after being recruited by a US-based company called Nahala Chimon International, which owns the property under Israeli law. How did you end up here? It's a long story. Basically, I needed to move from where I was, and uh, my He's friend from, like, was, was very, very active in this neighborhood. And he said, you can stay here for- So like, basically, this dude's from New York, and like, he needed a house. And so the Israeli government have laws in place. I gotta look up the specific law still. But they have laws in place that let you just move from anywhere in the world. You could be like in China. You could be like in, in Russia right now and like just move to Israel and like literally kick out a Palestinian family. And if, if you want a gun, you can have a gun on you. So you feel even safer kicking out the family. But you can kick out a Palestinian family and take over their home and you just start paying the bills. For the time being. And also a lot of time because of the racism there. Uh, Palestinians have trouble like even finding jobs and stuff and so they can't pay for their house they can't pay the bills and so they get evicted and then that's a that's a, like a less violent way that the uh, state or uh, the settlers take people's houses you're you pay not, rent you're not able to pay them I have an arrangement with the uh, with the owners of the house I don't want to get into personal arrangements and rents and things but yes I'm a tenant here I mean, oh he doesn't want to get into, he doesn't want to get into personal arrangement and rents Anything. It's probably fucking free. He's probably just like literally chilling there for free. Ownership over this property. You're from Brooklyn? No, I'm from New York, from Long Island. From New York. What right do you have to live here? The right I have is that the owner of the house wants me to live here. And he the wants to The owner of the house wants house me to live here. To, and I, I got chosen for whatever reason. It ended up being me. So why me do you live here? A, because I live here because it's important and because not too many people want to live here. And it's important to, to strengthen this neighborhood, to make sure that this neighborhood is not lost in any future peace deal. That neighborhood is not lost in any he said to make sure this neighborhood is not lost in any future peace deal so he wants to hold that neighborhood down he wants to stay in that house so that palestinians can't move back in if there is ever some sort of peace agreement or the un ever steps in i want to live here and it's important to, to strengthen this neighborhood to make sure that this neighborhood is not lost in any future peace deal <laughs> You better move out. That's part of the agreement. This is not their ancestral lands. They've not been here for generations. They came here in 1956 because they had nowhere else to be, and somebody illegally put them here. Whatever they're accusing me of is is, Whoa, is no different what from what that? they're doing and what they did. So your but position yeah. here is a political position to keep Palestinians out of it. Not to keep Palestinians out of it, to keep Jews in it. And then oh, oh that's basically to keep Palestinians out of it, you dummy. That's basically what you're saying. If you if you're doing this to keep Jews in it, you, it, then that's to keep Jews in it and keep Palestinians out of it. You're just trying to say it nicer. You're trying to say it in a nice way. So you don't sound like a fucking asshole. Palestinians who were here out of it. No, not, that, that's not, no. That's an, un, that's a, that's a necessary evil. A necessary evil, is, dude. And that's what I was trying to explain. You know who else says shit like that? The Nazis. It was a, they literally said it was a necessary evil to like exterminate, uh, you know, the rest. Because uh, they said their economy and uh, the J word control the world. It's so stupid. Nazis are the dumbest motherfuckers ever. That viral video, they're not coming back here. This part of the house for sure is lost. The second part of the house, unless there's some major miracle, is going to be lost. And they're not coming back into here. So whether I am here, whether I am not here, whether it's me, whether it's someone else, whether it's a monkey, whether it's a giraffe, they're not coming back into this house ever. Wow. I understand why they're angry at me. I understand why they dislike me. But I did not do this to them. I'm not doing this to them. And as I said, if I leave, I will be replaced immediately. And I venture to think that whoever comes here is not going to be as easygoing as I am. Yeah, you're definitely easygoing. 
Jacobs, a Nahala Chimon International's unyielding stance, is being challenged both inside the neighborhood and in court, where lawyers representing the families argue it's illegal under international law to displace anyone from occupied land. They're also arguing that there's a double standard. Israel hey, allows Jews like to show, return to their uh, homeland, but not Palestinians. Like whatever, 